Hello everyone, hope you must have heard the announcement made by OpenAI just few hours ago about the new small model called GPT-40 Mini. If you have not seen, I can quickly point you to that article. So this is the article wherein OpenAI is introducing GPT-40 Mini as a very cost efficient and intelligent model. So what this model is, uh, it is like the smaller model. So rather than using GPT-40, you can go with GPT-40 Mini because it can also perform lot many things that GPT-40 is performing. And the best part about this is it has completely outperformed GPT-40 on the chat preferences. And it is like it is very cost efficient. So definitely prices are reduced and it is charging 15 cents per million for input token and 60 cents per million for the output tokens. And if you will read at this particular line, so it is 60% cheaper than GPT-35 Turbo. So if it is cheaper than 35 Turbo, definitely everyone will go ahead and use GPT-40 Mini. So another interesting thing they are saying is this model with superior textual intelligence and multimodal reasoning. So let's have a look at this particular uh, chart wherein they're talking about the evaluation scores between GPT-40 Mini, Gemini Flash, Claude, GPT-35 Turbo and GPT-40. So in each and every aspect, GPT-40 Mini crossed all the models except GPT-40. So look at this particular pillar. So in case of ML, MMLU, you can see that orange bar is on the second number next to GPT-40. And it's not only in this particular category, if you will look at every single thing, every single category, you will see that GPT-40 Mini is sitting on the second position immediately after GPT-40. It means that going forward, you need not to use GPT-35 Turbo, rather GPT-40 Mini could be your best bet. And coming on to the built-in uh, built safety measures, they are saying that it has the same safety mitigations as uh, GPT-40. So we need not to worry much about it. And coming on to the prices and all, like I have already uh, mentioned that there are 15 cents for 1 million input tokens and 16 cents for 1 million output tokens, which is roughly around a uh, standard notebook of 2500 pages. So this is the announcement by OpenAI and I'm sure being an Azure OpenAI users, you want to know how are you going to use this in Azure OpenAI. So let me show you this. So I'm on my Azure AI Studio and here you can see that uh, if you will click on this Azure OpenAI, you will end up on this page and on the first button is with for early access playground. So either you can click on right now or you can even click on early access playground. So this is the playground and like it is still very early access. So definitely you can't write code or you can't experiment this model in a programmatic fashion. So let's quickly try out one thing. So I'm going with the default one and I have already set this template as a default. And now I'm saying you are an assistant that uh, tells very funny jokes. Okay, so this is what my system message is. And now I want to ask something. So I will say, tell me a joke about a joke. So let's see what it has. And click on this. Definitely you can set the parameters on the, the right hand side. I'm just going with the default ones. And now the joke here is, why did the joke go to the therapy? Because it couldn't stop cracking up. Okay. So, and here the other thing which you will notice is there is nothing called code, view code or anything because like I said, it is still in very early preview and we cannot access it through the code. But if you would like to see like how the messages are formatted, then you can click on show JSON and it will show you this particular thing. So here we have defined system role. This is the message. Then we have user. So instead of null, we will be putting the user defined question or the query. And this is the output. The reason why you are saying the same uh, system message is because I haven't saved it. Uh, let me go back. Another thing which I want to show you is, let's say if you're going to deployments and trying to create a new deployment model. 
so here you will not get the gpt4 room mini because like i said it's still in very early preview and we do not have access to its like api or anything so until we get access just go ahead and play around with this particular playground you can change these parameters you can reset, reset reset all these things and just play around it that's all i have for today thanks for watching